millions of television viewers, Jack Klugman will always be sports writer Oscar Madison, the cigar-smoking, beer-guzzling slob who played opposite Tony Randall in The Odd Couple. Will you stop it? We're losing here. Now, come on. Let's go to get together. Surprisingly, The Odd Couple wasn't Klugman's most successful series, at least not at first. Starting in the 1970s, it ran for five years on ABC and never ranked higher than 36 in the ratings. But reruns on local stations and on Nick at Night turned the sitcom into a cult classic, making it far more popular than Klugman's other TV series, Quincy. You are about to enter the most fascinating sphere of police. Klugman was the wily medical examiner for seven seasons. The show premiered in 1976 as part of NBC's mystery movie. It quickly became a weekly series. When it ended, Klugman made brief appearances but stayed mainly on his ranch raising horses. He also continued to smoke cigarettes and eventually lost a vocal cord to cancer. When it first happened, of course, I hid from it because I was sure I was going to get better. And I didn't want to know that I couldn't talk because then I wouldn't get a job. <laughs> How you feeling, fellas? One of his most memorable film roles was opposite the late Jack Lemmon in Days of Wine and Roses. Klugman played a counselor for Alcoholics Anonymous. How does it take to start an allergy? And which is the one that gives you the hives? Alcoholism is an illness. It's pretty hard to diagnose an illness until you've got it. He joined another distinguished cast in the 1957 teleplay, 12 Angry Men. Switchblades came with the neighborhood where I live. Funny, I never thought of it before. I guess you try to forget those things. Klugman grew up in South Philadelphia. He married twice and had two sons. He earned two Emmy Awards for his role on The Odd Couple. It was Klugman's longtime friend and co-star Tony Randall who helped him through his throat cancer treatment and persuaded him to resume his acting in the 1990s. With just one vocal cord doing the work of two, Klugman returned for a stage version and a TV version of The Odd Couple. Let me hear you say please. Give me the pastrami or I'll strangle you. While the two continued to reprise their Felix and Oscar roles on stage and television, Klugman admitted they were probably too old for the parts. But he added, who knows them better than us? I am Oscar Madison. When Randall died in 2004, Klugman said this to CNN's Larry King. You know, it's amazing. You know a guy's going to die. You know it. But you can't prepare for that finality. I don't care if it's 110 and they tell you he's gone. It just knocks me out. You can't accept the finality of it. As I say, a world without Tony Randall is a world that I cannot recognize. Jack Klugman died at his home in Northridge, California, with his wife Peggy by his side. He was 90 years old. Alina Cho, CNN, New York.